Okay, it is now 11.01 a.m. Thursday, May 21st. Um, my last video I made, uh, I had taken some profit and I had set some orders. So, actually there's quite a bit of movement here. So, I'm kind of making these videos back to back here. I wanted to... Uh, go here uh, I did take a couple losses but let's see I've got the euro uh, the euro Swiss franc ten dollar seventy two cent profit the great British pound USD eighteen dollars and twenty cents in profit um, the euro great British pound uh, twenty four seventy eight in profit and this hit my stop loss the euro Australian dollar fifty three ninety four and this one hit my stop loss the USD uh, Swiss franc these I had taken out earlier and then I took more orders out on them so I ended up with a little over a hundred dollar loss there in those two but at the same time these other ones took profit they're sixteen dollars and ninety cents in profit um, that one is uh, that one was from the day before so thirteen twenty three in profit so right now oh, we're five hundred and two dollars in profit so I did take a little bit of a loss since the last video but I'll tell you you know like I said it's it's give and take you're you're gonna have a few losses here and there so right now I'm eight nine dollars in profit if I took all these out so I'm gonna make a part two to this video and uh, I will get back to it later and we will see if these took profit I've got like I said a few orders out here some of these but I can teach you how to do this I'm, I'm going to make a part two to this video so I'm gonna pause this video and come back to it later and we will see okay it is now 1129 p.m. Sunday May 24th 2015 and uh, the first part of this video was Thursday there wasn't a whole lot of movement but I had taken out a couple of trades and um, I actually ended up losing a little bit of money I that's why you have to watch these things because if you sit around and just watch them watch them it's gonna drive you nuts but you have to keep your MT4 open or your alert set or whatever so you can keep track of what's going on and cut your losses and I'm considered a risky trader so I set my stop losses kinda high at times um, the reason for that is because you don't have to take a loss and even if it goes up a little bit then you know chances are it's gonna come back down or vice versa and um, so you have to kind of judge those things and you can set alerts to tell you when that's going to happen but I got kind of busy and and wasn't paying attention and uh, actually I lost internet connection there for about 12 hours too so I took a couple of losses there was one um, on the last trades the Australian dollar USD I lost eighteen dollars and forty cents the Great British pound USD I lost forty eight dollars and ten cents um, and I lost another forty eight dollars on the euro great British pound let's see what else um, I took a profit of ten dollars and seventy two cents on the euro Swiss franc same day yeah I, I took a uh, I took a profit on the great British pound for eighteen dollars and twenty cents Another profit for twenty four seventy eight, and let's see, that was the day before. No, I took a loss for fifty three ninety four fifty seven. So actually, it came out um, 
There's a profit for $16. There's a profit for $13. There's a profit for $16. There's a pro profit for $14. Profit for $19. And let's see. Did I take that many orders out? I think I think that was it but anyways I I came out I'm actually three hundred and eighty seven dollars in profit right now but I lost a little bit I lost about a hundred and uh, oh about a hundred and fifteen dollars because I was at five hundred and two oh four but it happens you know that's just the way it is and uh, like I said if you're not watching these things then um, you know you, you have to be able to cut your losses and and you know if you, you send an alert if you got a stop loss set and then you set it uh, alert for another you know before it hits your stop loss like halfway and then that way you can get alerted and then you can make a decision and you can cut your losses that's how I'm able to cut my losses so I can decide either whether to, to go ahead and just take that loss or um, try to turn it around you know into a profit because if you take a loss if you think it's going to go in the other direction why not you know if you think bad enough to take a uh, a loss on it then it's going to go in that direction why not take out an order in that direction and try to gain some of that loss back um, that's that's one other little technique and all along with uh, hedging but if you're in the United States you most likely can't hedge Unless you have two two accounts, and you can do that. but that would that would be a little confusing. I wouldn't recommend it. But anyways, um, so I'm looking here, and I don't I don't see a whole lot of trades. I took this one trade out for the Euro USD. Uh, I've got it set to take profit. It uh, oh, let's see, what is it? Need to be. Come on. All right, twenty eight. Twenty-eight dollars and twenty cents, and then I got my stop loss set. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep an eye on this. I'm gonna set, I'm gonna set an alert here, so that I'll know if it's getting, you know, if it's getting too far out of whack. And then that way I can make a decision. I'm not really seeing anything else here, but uh, our balance is two thousand six hundred, or yeah, two thousand six hundred thirty-six dollars and twenty-six cents. So we was at two thousand seven hundred and fifty one. So like I said, it's uh right around hundred and twenty dollars uh, or yeah. Something like that. Failed math. <laughs> so anyways, but we're not doing too bad considering all that profit that I made previous to this, you know, I mean there's some losses here, but then look at all that profit. And all that's profit, 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 profit. There's a loss, there's a loss, there's profit, profit, profit. There's a loss, profit, 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 profit. There's a small loss, profit, 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 profit. That's a loss, there's a loss. So if you notice, I, I'm going through this kind of fast, but if you notice, my losses are significant. And, um, so I would like I said I'm considered a risky trader I set my stop losses kind of high because I don't I don't believe in just giving the money away make them work for it but <laughs> anyways if you if you have more more profits and you do losses then you're gonna come out in profit it's bottom line so that's it for this video I will see you on the next one